Well, James, can you just sum up that win from the boys? Yeah, hard fought. It's never easy when you come to Geisley. Uh, they had the better of us in the first half. Um, we changed a little bit, a few things at half time, a few choice words, and I think we came out and showed what we're really about. Um, thoroughly deserved our lead, considering the way we started the second half. I thought we were dominant. Um, and really limited them to one or two shots in the second half. So as an away team, obviously I'm delighted. Just need to start the game better. But on the flip side of that, that's Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday. So uh, you know, it's it's put it proven its worth on our or proven it how hard the, the league is when you go Saturday, Tuesday. It's a it's a lot of football for us. Um, pleasing to get through the other end, and I think we deserve the win. And always pleasing to see your goal scorers getting the goals. Yeah, it's good that Matty's got on there again, and, and Kwasi have scored again. Um, but it's a team effort, and I thought we were dangerous from set plays, and we've worked on them, and we're pleasing to get to get the obviously the Kwasi goal. When you look at the table, obviously you've got a bit of a gap at the moment, but how how do you reflect on it? Because certain teams have got so many games in hand, and yeah. it. Kind of a bit too early to judge, isn't it? Yeah. It is too early. I've said it in other interviews. It's too early to look at the league table. We've just got to focus on ourselves. It's a strange year because obviously some teams are having two weeks off with obviously the, the COVID problems. Um, other teams have got games in hand. It's, it's difficult, like you said, so we won't be reading too much into the league table at the moment. We just focus on ourselves. We're still a new group. We're developing and building. Um, and I think it's shown in our performances. Probably that half, that first half, is probably the worst we've been for a little while. Um, but what I really like is the reaction at half time, and we knew it ourselves, and we've got some honest lads in there. Come out at second half and really were dominant. Um, so yeah, it's a great reaction in the middle of the, from the middle of the game. It shows that we can change the tempo and what we're doing. Um, but not getting carried away. We're, we're nine games in. It's a great start for us, seven out of nine. Um, but we'll continue to, to develop this group and see where we are uh, come the end of the season. And how are you finding it with the COVID procedures, and obviously the schedule as well, being such a compact one. It is, it's tough, um, we're obviously missing Kevin now for Tuesday um, and we've got a few bumps and bruises and then obviously Matty's come off as well so we've got to assess him tomorrow. Um, it's tough but it's tough for everyone, it's not just us, uh, we're all in the same boat this year, for, you know, we're just privileged to play, I think that's, we've got to remember that, we're privileged to play, we're, we're an elite football club now, we're abandoned as that and we're privileged to, to be playing our football in it, as the world as it is, so um, we've got to remember that and I think the lads are showing that. And just finally, how much are you missing the fans? Because obviously when the team's doing so well, having that support can always, always a nice feeling, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Uh, it, it's also good to, sh you know, we came here last year, I was new to the job and we, we got defeated 2-1. And to, to reverse that fixture um, seven months or eight months later shows that we're making progress. Um, and it's small steps with, with us. We've got the new stadium. Um, and like I keep saying, we're not getting carried away. We're, we're doing really well. We're showing... Um, Showing some good stuff in and out of position. So, um, yeah, on to Gateshead.